Okay, so this is my iPad Mini 2, which was released in October 23rd, 2013. Now when this came out, it came with iOS 7.0, but it's now running software version 12.4, and that's part of the problem as to why old iPads run so slow. It's brilliant that they get the updates, but the updates introduce lots of new features and the machine just isn't powerful enough to deal with it. If I compare my old iPod Touch, which came out September the 8th, 2008, uh, it actually feels more snappy. And that's because the operating system, when you launch an app and when you close an app, uh, it actually properly closes the app. And uh, so nothing runs in the background. There are no search features um, that, that load up automatically. So let's have a look at the iPad and see what we can do to make it perform much more like this older device. So first up is an obvious one, and it's closed down all the open apps. Uh, now, on newer devices, they actually recommend that you don't do this, but because this doesn't have a lot of RAM and it doesn't have a powerful processor, it's better off to just run one thing at a time, like the little iPod Touch I just showed you. Next up, go into Settings, scroll down to Safari, scroll down to Clear History and Website Data, and Clear. All that extra data definitely slows down your iPad. Now another one while we're in Safari is to disable JavaScript. So let's hit Advanced, and you can see JavaScript here. So if it's on, it's lit up green. If it's off, it's gray. JavaScript is like pop-ups and lots of fancy things that happen on a website. And so you are gonna find that some sites don't display 100% correctly. So if I do a search for Hot UK Deals, you can see that this bar doesn't come up and uh, a few things on the side don't come up. But actually the page is much quicker to load and is much more usable. And most sites don't use a lot of JavaScript. So if I go for something like the BBC, uh, hopefully this already looks quicker than your current iPad does uh, if, you're, if you're looking to speed it up. So if we go BBC Home, I found it almost unusable before. Uh, we can see that it's loaded up pretty quick for such an old device and everything is, is moving as it should. But if you do get an instance where you need JavaScript, just have a spare browser. So again, keep closing things down. I've got Chrome on this, which definitely runs slower, but if you need to, uh, say you're filling in a form on a website and the pop-up doesn't come up, rather than keep turning JavaScript on and off, then I would say you're probably better off just to use a secondary browser. But as you can see, it's much, much slower and all of this took a while, then we get all this accept at pop-up and stuff like that. So all of that does come back with it. Uh, another one is Puffin Browser. Puffin Browser is cloud-based. So basically, when you do a search, it's a computer in the cloud which is doing the search for you. Now, they also don't tend to use a lot of JavaScript, but it can be quite a fast browser. So it's just another option. But I would say most of the time you'll get away with Safari and Chromium. The other thing about Puffin is it uses tiny amounts of data. Uh, it actually compresses the web page. So it's gonna use less data if you're using it on mobile data, but also if you've got a really slow internet connection, because Puffin is accessing a computer in the cloud, that's doing all the hard work. It's compressing the image, so it's using a lot less data. So it just speeds everything up. Now in settings, another thing we wanna do is disable auto app updates. So if we go into iTunes and App Store, you can see all these I've unchecked. So if we've got updates on, that's how it looks, but I'm gonna turn all of those off. It's all things working in the background. You can manually update on an iPad, and it's obviously worth doing every now and then, but if you want it to work nice and fast, these should be turned off. Same with notifications. So if we click on notifications, uh, you can turn off notifications. Uh, so we've got show previews, I turn off but also you can see everything on here, apart from uh, text messages. You can leave some things on if you want, but uh, loads of things that are on, so something like Google Maps, I just don't need it on this iPad. So you're just turning that off, uh, all of this, just by this one toggle. So just go all the way down through, turn everything off, unless you really think that that particular app needs to give you notifications. All of these are extra processes which are slowing down your iPad. Next, we need to go to General and Accessibility Options and we need to turn off reduce motion. 
So reduced motion is turning off a feature that when you move the iPad around, it kind of keeps the icons in the same place. It looks nice, but it's not necessary in an old iPad. It's also worth turning off location for services that don't need it. Uh, so if we type in location on settings, because I can't find it. There we go, privacy location. And basically I've turned it off on pretty much everything. So I've left find friends on, uh, Google Maps, I've left it on on that but I've changed it to while using rather than to be able to use it in the background. So customize that to what best works for you. Another tip is to try and clear some space. So if you go to general in settings and iPad storage, you wanna have a bit of space here at the end. I reckon on having about two gigabytes free, you can see here, I've got about six or seven gig free. Another tip is to power off and on your iPad uh, on a regular basis. It just clears things out. So press and hold the power button and slide to power off. It's also good to reset your iPad every now and then. So if we go into reset and reset all settings, you will see some functions on here. Uh, so erase all content and settings. That's a good thing to do if you haven't done it in a long time, uh, but you need to know your iPad password to log back in again and, uh, and set it up as before. And obviously make sure you back up before you erase all contents and settings. But yeah, my iPad, so even though it is pretty old, nearly 10 years old, it actually feels much faster now. It doesn't try and do loads of things when you slide over to the side, but we still have functionality there, so we can still search for certain things. But uh, yeah, I, I think much, much better. I'm really glad I did this. Video playback is absolutely fine, um, but uh, it was before, so all the streaming services and everything work well, but the, just the overall interface is a lot snappier now. Because I'm closing everything down every time uh, and starting things up, it just tends to work much, much better than was before. As I say before, it really wasn't very usable. Uh, so if I jump into Hot UK Deals, uh, it goes from page to page. It's a perfectly usable device now. So if you've got any more tips, please add them in the comments. It will definitely help others. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.